the Good Morning Washington Kitchen, and we love kicking off uh, the week on a healthy start and how fitting it happens to be World Vegan Day. And not only that, it's also National Authors Day, so here to celebrate with recipes from her brand new cookbook, if you're counting, this is number 10, Mediterranean Lifestyle for Dummies, and in studio, one of our favorites, Amy Riola. Thank so you. good to see you, Amy. Thank you, Eileen. It's so great to see you. And yeah. kid, thank you for having we me love again. Having it's been a long back. time. Yes. And we're going to make some great dishes today. We're going to sure. talk about some great dishes. And also, I like to always point out, it's like, you don't have to be completely vegan. You can no. be a little bit. I Flexitarian, eat all the time. vegetarian. Yeah. You can love meat and, and still have good results on the Mediterranean. You've always so. brought us so much wonderful Mediterranean foods and, and the lifestyle. You have a brand new cookbook, as we yes. mentioned, the 10th one. How do, How is this one different from the others? Sure, I'm gonna get started cooking right as I answer your question. Okay, okay great. So we'll that's what I'm here oil. for. I'm, the, okay, uh, I'm gonna give you the olive oil, I'm passing the baton. Perfect, <laughs> passing the how much? That's good, that's, that's great. Good. Yeah, you're ample, like I like it. We're gonna add the dandelion greens. Like this goes saute. first. Yes. Okay. And you know, what makes it different, Eileen? It's such a great question because this is a lot of focus about the lifestyle okay. and really all of those things that set the diet up for success. So mm -hmm. as you know, we talked about it before, in the Mediterranean, a lot of people live until their 90s, but yes. like they're, they're productive, they're enjoying their life, and we want to live better longer, so how can we do it? So this book talks about things like fresh air, getting mm. more sweet, eating with others, and a lot of hidden things that we don't necessarily think about as being that. It's a lot of research about the Mediterranean diet. Talk about some of the benefits of it. Sure. So we're going to add in a little garlic, and you can okay. add some basil, too. Chopped garlic and just... Yeah, just throw it right in there. Okay. So the benefits are, you know, it's shown that people who follow a Mediterranean lifestyle can prevent or reverse a lot of things that plague us, like diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, ADHD, Parkinson's. And also, just generally, it reduces inflammation. So even if you're healthy and you enjoy a Mediterranean lifestyle, it's going to set you up for success. Hopefully, you don't get a lot of different illnesses or things that are out there. So, and mental health, you know, stability, um, being happier, enjoying life, quality of life. Yeah. Um, so uh, talk about some of the foods that you're using to incorporate into, you know, the, the taste of the Mediterranean. Right. Well, today's dish is a great example because we've got the dandelion greens, which are a really nutritional powerhouse. Okay. I'm going to add in some uh, cannellini beans. People should be getting about a half a cup of beans or legumes every day. Every and day? Yeah, and a lot of times yeah. we fall short, right? Unless you yeah. go to an Indian restaurant or do Mexican food, people don't really think about beans in American cooking, but it's super important for us. I'm just chopping up some artichokes okay. uh, today that I had. So I have some fresh uh, artichokes in my basket, and I just kind of want to remind everybody that you know to eat as much um, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables as possible. If we could get like up to 12 servings a day, that would be wow. a really good thing. Um, I am realizing how deficient <laughs> exactly. I am in my legumes, in my vegetables. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm here for. And look, we've got these great examples. So this is my Moroccan salad trio. You and I have talked oh, about Morocco before. Yes. And I know, kid, you love to travel, mm. too. Um, I've got some Egyptian ful madamas, which are fava beans uh -huh. um, that are cooked with a little bit of olive oil and garlic and some tahini sauce. I've got some tomatoes on top. They're traditional breakfast in Egypt, by the way. Okay. Um, and then our dish, which could be, you know, very traditional in uh, Italy or Greece. Oh, it smells so you good. Add a little bit of white balsamic. You're going to hit it with some pepper. Kind. So is it easier to... I mean, we think it takes a harder time or longer to do this stuff, but it's actually easier to cook fresh like this, isn't it? It's very easy. You need a little bit of prep time. I mean, I'm yeah. not going to lie. People say, can I do it in three minutes? Well, it takes longer than three minutes to wait in line at a store. Yes. <laughs> you need a little more than that. But if you set a couple, maybe in like an hour aside each week, cook your vegetables in advance, chop them, get all your legumes ready to go, and kind of make a plan, it can be really quick and easy and fun and delicious. Yes, mm. and well, and that's what you've always, through your travels, through your cooking, it's all about taking that time. We're so rushed as a society, and I think that that Mediterranean lifestyle is to kind of, you know, slow down a little bit, go out into the fresh air, take that time to be around, you know, the food and the mm -hmm. prepping and all. Exactly. And that's probably really good for your, your mental well-being as well. Right, and you know, like, you've got a little one at home, so even just smelling these aromas, you know, it took us three minutes, will help them to digest their food better, will oh. help them to to be more um, stable, more emotionally stable, and also helps their body to absorb more nutrients just from smelling food. You don't even wow. have to cook it. So there's so many hidden little easy, free secrets that I have that I love to share. Let's talk about the cookbook and where people can get it because I think this is a great book for anybody that might be traveling yes. soon or know someone that's going on a trip like that or just wants to start living a, a healthier lifestyle. Wants to travel vicariously. Yeah. Yes. You can get it at Amazon, you can get it at Barnes and Noble. 
Mediterranean Lifestyle for Dummies. Amy Riolo, congratulations. So great to see you. Thank you so much, kid. Appreciate and it. Smells delicious. We're going to eat some of this. Some. Yes, we will take a quick break and have more of Good Morning Washington <laughs> on this Monday morning next.